What up, cyberspace? It's another beautiful day here in Pittsburgh. I'm here to talk to you about Hanks. Seriously, we're gonna talk about Hanks today. Like, Hankies, for real. But uh, yeah, so I wanna tell you why I think that you should carry a Hanky now. Uh, I got a whole bunch of reasons and a whole bunch of Hanks to talk about. I wanna feature some of my favorite makers and I wanna talk about why historically people have carried them and why we should con continue that tradition now. So today's Exo's vlog, check it out. So first I wanna talk about this. This is my current absolute favorite Hanky. I'm calling this one Nesta the Face Hugger. Um, this is a custom made by MCMD Hankery. Um, she's a one woman shop in the Pacific Northwest, and look at this green, OD green microfiber on the back. Love it. Um, she also, this was the first Hank she made me. This is the sparkly bat Hank. Um, I got this to uh, specifically match a setup that I had with uh, Malune Mob. So, uh, yeah. And uh, the next Hank that she made for me is this, the Xenomorph Hank. Um, this also, you know, some microfiber on the back, a uh, mix of red and white stitching on the inside, and uh, just red on the back. This was my first Hanks, and actually one of my favorites. This is by Renegade EDC. Um, it's a collaboration with Erlang EDC. Um, this was like a pirate map themed Hank that they did a limited drop of. Um, I don't know, it just, it's what got me into Hanks in the first place, so it really has like a special spot for me. You know, I got this because I thought like, oh, this would be a fun treasure map that I could play with my son with and, you know, have like a real pirate themed background for photography stuff, you know. Um, but wow, it really showed me that hankies, they have a real use, but we'll get to that. Up next is the Ace of Hanks Casino Night. I actually like this Hank so much I got two of them. Um, the printing is the same, but like we got little different parts of the bigger picture. This kind of goes to show you when you go on Etsy or whoever and buy from a small maker, you know, they just, they, they've got a roll of the fabric and they're just making Hanks however size they can out of that. Um, you'll also notice there's not like a standard size between any of these makers. Um, they normally tell you in the descriptions, but, um, I love this design so much. Uh, all the playing cards, the casino theme stuff. Uh, Ace of Hanks, it's like a great name to go with that too. Also, um, just so happens to be my initials. So. Up next is a Hank that you might have seen on my channel already from Damn Hanks. This is uh, my, my friend that I went to grade school with and his wife's company that they're just now getting started. Um, this. Uh, this design is my absolute favorite, the Silver Age Marvel, um, so much that I got two of them. Uh, sad story here, I learned that your knives are sharp and you gotta, you gotta clean them a certain way. I actually ca stabbed Captain America right in the back. So yeah, be careful, you know, these things aren't invincible. Um, the 35th anniversary Mario print. Um, Amanda told me she went to the store and just saw this, this bulk of, this bolt of fabric and was like, that's it, it's fate, I gotta make this. So, quick drop on that. Um, here's my only Hank that's not microfiber back. This guy, um, is so soft. It's great for, like, snot stuff. I use this one a lot as, like, a, I need to help my son get himself cleaned up kind of Hank more than, like, the utilitarian style that I carry for myself in a lot of ways, which we'll talk about. Um, but this design with the map is super cool, and, um, the fleece backing, it's, it's very nice. It's different than a cotton uh, or microfiber-sided one, but, yeah, I dig this one a lot. Um, yeah, that's all my Hanks for them. And last but not least, we're going to talk about one of my other favorite Hanks. This is the Quick Deploy, as Mad Pal calls it. Um, this is so tiny. It's the littlest Hank I got. Um, but I love this Overlook Hotel fabric. Um, I, once again, I like this Hank so much that I have more than one of them. That's what I'm rocking today. Um, this one, you'll notice, is ever so slightly bigger than the Quick Deploy one. Um, but yeah, you know, one of my favorite uses for a Hank is when you're going to do a palm dump. You're gonna pull all your EDC gear out of your pockets and decide, um, you know, here we go, internet, this is what I got. Let me take my hot shot uh, and p post it up to social media so you can look how cool I am. Um, I feel like this Overlook Hotel matches so much of my gear, so. It's Maddie. So why use a Hank? Uh, you know, I have three main categories of reasons why you should. Uh, number one is cleaning stuff. Um, I got two different sides to these Hanks, so I have two different jobs. We got Dirty Duty, and then we got the Gentle Jobs. Uh, number two is Chivalry. 
Uh, the gentleman's code dictates that you should be carrying one, and it's also just cool to be nice. Uh, and then the third one is pocket jewelry. You know, uh, it makes a great background for your EDC photos. Um, it also can help with cleaning the gear itself. Um, and then it also can be like a barrier between your photo subjects and the environments that you're taking photos of. Uh, so I think we should talk about each of those. Cleaning stuff. I like to call it the dirty duty versus the gentle jobs. So dirty duty is the obvious stuff like it's not off of your face, coffee off of your beard, food off of your face. Um, you know, when your son falls and skins his knee, this is what you put um, on this, the cotton side. But gentle jobs is the other one. Um, for instance, if you're going to clean your knife, I think that it's very important that you know the correct way to do this. Ripped Captain America. Uh, you need to take the sharp side of your knife and hold it away from the hanky. Uh, you kind of can go like this and pull away. You can do like a rub like this. Um, gentle jobs like this. Uh, another thing that I often do with the gentle side is clean my phone screen um, or lenses on cameras and stuff like that. You can spray a little Windex, a little alcohol, a little hand sanitizer onto this side and then just go to town. Speaking of what's that? The gentleman's code and rules of chivalry actually dictate the reasons you should carry a hanky in a pocket square and when to use them and when you shouldn't use them and blah. Who cares about rules? But there's still some good info to be gleaned from these systems back in the day. Um, the story was that you always carried a monogram one that you had your initials on and then um, another one that you used for yourself that was utilitarian. The initialed one was specifically designed for you to give to a lady. The idea was that, you know, you go to a movie and she starts crying or, you know, she gets herself dirty, you offer her your clean handkerchief, she takes it, you don't take it back, and later on the next day or whatever, she sees your initials on there and starts thinking about you. You know, the idea of carrying two made sense too back then. One was a specifically cleaned for someone else hanky versus the one that you were going to be using. Um, another rule in public was that you weren't supposed to reuse the same hank more than once. The idea was like you'd say, excuse me, and blow your nose or, or, or clean yourself off. Do the fold over and keep the gross side on the inside and immediately back into the pocket. You shouldn't pull it back out again and see him using this and then refolding it a different way. People start thinking it's gross when you're, when you're doing that. The idea is you're supposed to excuse yourself to the bathroom maybe and do this you know, when you're not in public. Part of the idea is like, how many times would you use a tissue? Would you use a tissue five times? Would you offer a used tissue to someone else? The same rules apply with a hank, I think, generally speaking. So you try and, you know, use a, a tissue or a napkin a few times, fold it a few different ways to make sure that, you know, the dirty side is keeping under tabs when you put it back in your pocket. But you do your best in the dirty world. And I don't think a lot of us are gonna be offering hanks to people on the reg. Maybe you are, I don't know, I don't. But there definitely comes a time and a place when you know you're going to. I recently, sadly, unfortunately, went to a funeral for my father-in-law and I brought three Hanks with me and all three of them got used by different people. Um, so, sad truth, you know, sometimes you know you're gonna be in sappy situations where people are gonna be crying or getting dirty when you're gonna want one of these guys. So. Another thing is just being nice. Like being chivalrous is, is is good because it's cool to just be nice to people. Not being a jerk is, is better than being a jerk in my opinion. You know, and if you see someone uh, a snot on their face struggling, maybe it's a good idea to offer them your hank. You know, when you get it back from them, maybe you fold it up and throw it in your pocket a different way and you don't use this one. You were still nice and you helped somebody out that needed help. So uh, I think being chivalrous can be cool in a lot of different situations like that. People remember things like that too. Uh, it seems silly, but like when you, when you go to a place with like a bathroom attendant and you just sort of be nice to them or thank them, holding the door for strangers, like they think twice about you about it. Um, I always used to love to blow people's minds holding doors from them. They're like, who's the little punk rock kid holding a door for an old person? I felt like it made people think twice about weirdos. So. Chivalry, it's not dead. EDC is all about personality and being yourself, but for me, I've really distilled my carry down to Hank, Knife, Nuck, Light. But, you know, what day of the week is the light, is the knife, is the Nuck, is whatever. You know, that's kind of what makes EDC fun, is your ability to just mix and match and swap and come up with new ideas and new setups and take your same thing that you had before and mix it up just a little bit and get creative and come up with a different one that you had 
than the, the last time. Um, trying different patterns and different things and, and coming up with different results. People might like it, people might not. You might throw some extra weird stuff in there and people will love it. You might throw some stuff in there and people think it's dumb. Who cares? It's your pockets. You know, the extras are what makes it fun, makes it unique. So just have fun with it. So yeah, that's my, uh, my thoughts about Hanks. They're great, dude. They're super utilitarian. You know, I always carried a microfiber cloth in my bag, but having one of these around with me all the time and, and you know, using Lex Kleenexes and stuff like that's been great. Uh, the fabrics add a little fashion flair to your uh, attire, which is always fun. Um, and, you know, I just think it's pretty cool. So I put links to all my favorite Hank makers down in the description. No affiliates or nothing like that. Just links to the make small makers that I think that you should support. Uh, some friends of mine that I've known forever and friends of mine that I've just recently met on the internet. So if you enjoyed this video, you know, comment down below what you want me to talk about next. And if it's not palm dumps, it's not what I'm talking about next because my next video that I'm uploading is about how to make your pocket checks look better. So if you want to see that, hit the notification button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Later.